I'm Chelsea. And I'm James. And this is our 1986 Dodge High Top Camper. It runs on propane and we've been living in this thing for exactly a month now. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the one month anniversary. So in the back here, so we start, we got our 32 gallon fresh water tank here. Uh, so fill up at gas stations, comes through a strainer, goes to our pump and accumulator to keep the water pressure. We have a hot water tank that's four gallons and that runs off our inverter. Um, and then it goes through a water filter to our sink and then to our gray water system. We have two 170 amp hour lithium batteries that are housed in there. We have 400 watts of solar on top. Everything is powered by Renogy. From that, it goes to our 3000 watt inverter and we have our fuse panel here, which is all blade fuses, which powers all of our 12 volt stuff. Our lights, our chargers, all that good stuff. It's a 20 amp MPPT. And what it does is it, well, it charges off the solar, then goes to my house batteries. Once my house batteries are full, it'll actually trickle charge to my starter battery. And when we're driving, it'll charge at 20 amp hours from the starter battery to my house batteries, but it will never drain my starter. So it's kind of a, a great foolproof system to never run out of a charge way out in the bush. And did you uh, do the electrical? Yeah, I did everything. Yeah, actually, and Chels did a lot of the wiring too. So uh, about a thousand hours at the University of YouTube and <laughs> everything runs, it works. <laughs> so a lot of self-taught stuff, same with all the plumbing. We, we did all that ourselves. Chels painted all this, a nice cream color, it was all Dodge red, which I'll show you what that looks like. We have one piece of red that remains and that's it. Chels made all the nice paneling that we got. It's uh, 3 16th mahogany stained with Jacobian Minwax. So this is just our garage. We've got uh, extra diesel for the diesel heater, a couple tools, extra set of heels if we're going out. Not mine, but maybe. <laughs> Uh, we've got bins of tennis rackets, toys, outdoor stuff, frisbees. We've got an outdoor table here, skateboards, some chairs. We've got our telescoping ladder that gets us up to our rooftop deck. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. While I'm traveling North America filming these alternative dwelling documentaries, it's really important for me to keep my personal information safe while using public Wi-Fis. A VPN or virtual private network encrypts your information and keeps your online activity private. The other thing I love about using Surfshark's VPN is being able to connect to servers in other countries and gaining access to the content that isn't available in my area unlocking Netflix global catalog. It's super easy to use Surfshark on your devices. With a click of a button, you can change your virtual location. There are a lot of reasons to use a VPN, like the reasons I mentioned, and more like when you wanna send or receive files securely, get deals on shopping online, and get past geoblocks and government restrictions. Whatever your reason for using a VPN, choose Surfshark and use my code Different Media to save 83% and get an extra three months free. Click my link in the description for a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. This is kind of like our shower door here. So this has all of our shampoos and conditioners and stuff like that. Um, when you open up here, this is how we access our diesel tank. So here we have um, our stove and you just kind of move this guy here and it opens up into our stove area. So James actually built that. Underneath is where we keep our, have our tanks here and then extra storage underneath, just kind of like bowls and measuring cups and stuff. If we did not have these latches, these come flying out when we drive. So we did have to figure something out. So these latches James actually found at Home Depot. And so super easy to use. And we have them on all three of these guys here. It works as long as we remember to close them. <laughs> Over here, we have our Dometic 75 fridge, which is absolutely amazing. We love it. And having two people living in here, it's definitely useful. Um, we put little magnetic, magnetic strips on here so we don't have to hold them up with our head. So you just kind of pop them up. There's tons and tons of space, which is awesome. Underneath here, I won't open it up, but we do have a toilet. Homemade composting toilet. We separate the one and two and we use some wood chips. And yeah. it so far, no smell. It's been super convenient, super handy. Yeah. Um, we might upgrade it to something else later, but right now it works for us. 
Yeah, I don't know, Rex. It was funny because I had a couple girlfriends in here the other day, and one of them had to go pee, and I was a little bit nervous of, of opening it up in front of everybody, but didn't smell. Then she used it, and it was fine. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Um, so here, th um, this is kind of like a little way in to go to the back as well. So we kind of store extra clothing in here, which is really nice. Um, and then underneath here in the bench, we also have more storage. So it's the same on the other side as well. So storage here, storage on the other side. On either side, we have uh, two different compartments with storage as well. Over here, we have our control panels. This kind of shows us how much energy we're using. It turns our inverter on and yeah, kind of gives us access to all of that. And then in here, just simple drawers. Pretty much got everything you need for a kitchen, which is really great all the way down to the bottom and then underneath we have garbage and our gray water tank we chose van life because that's something that i've always wanted to do i think since i was about grade six or seven i have always wanted to live in a van and so it's kind of been a little bit of, of uh, my dream i suppose mm -hmm. and as soon as i shared it with james i think it took you about what like a week not even to be fully on board and he was like yeah okay i'm i'm super down and that's where it just like really took off it was like we bought the van and then just started chipping away at it mm -hmm. yeah we moved into a condo and i was like okay i bought a new barbecue bought a new tv figured all right we'll put down some roots we can stay here a couple years and then chelsea said do you want to ditch everything and live in a van i said ah, ah. and i started looking up van life stuff on instagram instantly fell in love with yeah. it yep to hell with a condo let's yeah. get in a van yeah <laughs> <laughs> I guess our favorite part of the van would probably be the closet. So James made this with a uh, barn board and so to open it up, you just click on the lights there. They do not stay completely open if we're on a slant, but yeah, it's a nice little, little touch that James did. I think he did a really good job on that. And then we have where our keys go. Our mattress is a tri-fold bed, so it was actually our mattress that we had at our old house and we just went to a shop and got it cut into thirds. Um, so our theory was that we would have a bed that pulls out like that. And so you just take this off and fold it down. And that's our bed. And so then the back, later on, we're going to, um, we left the back panel just as uh, like one big piece. So eventually we'll be able to fold it up and we can kind of have it as like a little couch area. Yeah, so kind of a little something in the future. Um, these are the couch cushions I made. Same with these things. So I learned how to sew during this whole process, which was very, very interesting. But I eventually did it and it's actually not too bad. So they do come on and off which is nice these ones you can wash more so these ones don't really need to be washed but I did pick a fabric that if we wanted to we can bring them outside the van and just kind of hang out hang out on them in the sand if we needed to so yeah and it's very easy it's really not a pain to do every day like we do uh, fold it into day mode every single day and it's really not a bother at all and it just keeps them looking nice and tidy which fan is it, my love? Max Air Fan. Max Air Fan, yeah. So this thing is a beauty. So you just turn it on. It's got a couple different settings on here, just higher and lower. Um, but definitely like keeps the air flowing, especially with that little window over there. You can kind of like open it up just a little bit. And with that open and the fan going, the air just kind of rushes right through and goes all the way out. Um, super helpful for when you're cooking obviously or when it gets hot out now we haven't been in victoria with the hot hot weather so um we did leave some area back here in case we wanted to put in an air conditioner we're kind of unsure about that yet so so far it's just a fan so we have a diesel heater a five kilowatt one uh that we bought from amazon that most other van lifers have amazing it's fantastic dry hot heat uh, sips the diesel, uses almost no electricity, 
um, and it's perfect. It comes with a little remote. So when we're laying in bed first thing in the morning, the alarm goes off, click that, hit snooze, wait about 10 minutes, the van's nice and toasty, and we're good to go. That was probably one of the best installs of the van that we did. Um, just a game changer all around. I think our total cost to get into van life with the van, the repairs that we had to do to the engine, the suspension, and everything else, along with everything else that we've done, multiple trips to Home Depot, I think we're in the range of twenty to twenty-five thousand. However, like with that being said, um, a lot of the expenses that we did have, like we um, would essentially get paid pay our bills and then with, with whatever money we had left we would that use that to go to Home Depot and stuff so it was really like eat by each weekend so we um, we are in a little bit of debt but really not that much mm -hmm. I think we have about five grand that we have to pay off which is really well most of it came out of pocket yeah we sold a lot of our our furniture and belongings and used yeah. that cash to build it and we had some help from my mom and her yeah. dad bought us this beauty fridge <laughs> so we had uh, yeah. we had some nice gifts from friends yeah. yeah and family what did you do for insulation spray foam yeah. can you tell me about that yeah we got the two-part kit at Home Depot uh, I'm a carpenter by trade renovation so uh, I've used that system quite a lot it's an A and B two kind of propane tanks um, sprayed all the exterior walls up here we used half inch uh, foam to fill some of the areas and then we used another bit of three-quarter inch uh, polystyrene uh, so that was all filled and then covered it with wood um, all of our insulation all the joints are all taped with um, duct tape and tuck tape so it everything is super sealed the roof actually is about an inch thick our fiberglass and in between there's two layers in between that is uh, already some insulation so last summer when we were working on it hot hot day but you reach up and touch the roof and it's there's no heat coming through and we did add a bit more insulation in between where we added the ribs in order to add our cedar ceiling these came out of a pretty new ford transit uh, they were mailed to us from ontario within three days i uh, just had to change the bolt pattern underneath and they fit fine and now we have this chair that swivels all the way around we have armrests on both chairs and this one should it can swivel around but we don't have the space for it there i had to cheat this chair over because it is a little bit wider this is another access point it's great to sit here look out at the ocean um, it was just a key in in our van design this right here all that's wrapped in uh everything that's wrapped in barn board this is all the roll cage so even back here there's uh this is all metal tubing a metal frame here uh, so we decided to clad that in barn board to really give it that old cabin feel and i just love working with barn board so anytime i could put it in the van i tried to incorporate it as much as possible we chose to live in a van for one we love to travel we love to camp and two we wanted to not be paying so much rent for someone else's equity and we wanted to start saving some money of our own in order to either one day buy some property, a house, or just save up and road trip. Mm -hmm. Mostly we just want a road trip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've owned it for a year and two months now, but the build itself has taken us seven to eight months. Mm -hmm. And we built this van in our spare time on weekends. And when we weren't building in the van, we were researching and constantly on YouTube or different kind of forums um, online trying to figure out how best to do things, how van lifers do it, what products people use, how to wire this, how to run the plumbing, um, different layouts, all sorts of different stuff. We're constantly changing our own layout. Like I think when we first started out we were just like we should have the bed at the front and like then we can open up the back and have like the kitchen area yeah. and it's like every single weekend we went in and did um, just a little bit of work things would change like everything would change yeah mm -hmm. so it was very interesting building it and like morphing into what it, what it has become what it looks like now was never what it was not thought to all. be <laughs> <laughs> not at all <laughs> yeah. but it turned out I think better than we could have ever imagined yeah I've never built a van but I'm a carpenter by trade I've been a carpenter for 12 years 13 years so I'm constantly working with my hands all the time um, so this was just another 
carpentry challenge. Um, there is not one right angle, square, straight line in this mm -hmm. entire van, so every piece is custom. Mm -hmm. Every piece had to be fitted, tried, tested, templated, take it back out, cut it again. No, it didn't work, throw it out, build a new piece. Yeah. And if it wasn't right or if it was a little crooked, I'd make him do it again. Yeah. Until <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. I have absolutely no experience doing any builds of any sort. So it was quite the, it, it was good though. James took his time to really explain things to me. And so I was able to um, help out in the end, which was really good. Yeah. He, he definitely taught me a lot. The reason why we went with a DIY version um, rather than buying something that was just already built is i think the price oh yeah yeah absolutely. the price was a huge huge difference it was yeah well did thousands tens of thousands yeah. of dollars difference also we wanted we wanted a project we got in way over our heads with the project but it was uh, well worth it um we wanted to take the time to design something ourselves mm -hmm. figure out how we wanted it um and we wanted we wanted to do it ourselves and be fully in the process and know how everything went together yeah and i think there's something to be said about like knowing where each screw is and where um like where all the wires are going to so if we ever want to fix something we have the knowledge of where we need to go in to fix that and yeah so mm -hmm. i think that was very powerful for us what did i learn about myself building the van Patience. Patience. Patience is a great Slow one. down. Yeah. Everything you I would normally do on a job site in X amount of time, slow down. It's gonna take you twice as long in the van. Um and as as a relationship building skill, slow down <laughs> even more. <laughs> that was uh there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Some arguments in this van but ultimately it uh it brought us closer together yeah. more than ever yeah i agree i think for me like i had to really stray away from um it's not going to be perfect because i'm a bit of a perfectionist and even though it's it's perfect in our eyes there are still things like that i know um that aren't level but i had to relax about that i had to you know not worry so much about what people aren't gonna see that really is just in my head before when we lived in a condo it felt like you know we had to get back home so that we could clean the house or make lunches or make dinner grocery or shop. grocery shop or you know do laundry yeah whatever it was and now it's like waking up and we um we get to kind of choose if we don't have to work we get to choose what we can do with that day and we can kind of slow down i can like lay here on the bench and read a book and it's been a really nice um <clears throat> just calming experience mm -hmm. yeah some of the challenges so far in this lifestyle uh when we didn't have the toilet was finding a place to poop first thing in the morning <laughs> that was probably the biggest one uh, we do have a second vehicle um, that I use for work daily, and then this is our house. Um, so that was nice to at least have that to be able to jet out to a public washroom and back. Um, some other challenges. Learning to give one person the full space of the van. So if someone's cooking dinner, um, then... The other one's out of the kitchen. Out of the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> yeah. And I guess um, learning, uh, you know, having space for each other's time. Like, so I have my own time. Like, I like to do go off and do yoga, um, whereas James will like to go to the gym or go to the pool. And so learning to have our own space and have our own time. And that, that way, when we come back together, it's a lot more fun and we have so much to talk about rather mm -hmm. than being together all the time. I found that my anxiety has gone down a lot. Depression has gone down a lot. Like, we... We're a lot more happier. We're a lot more, um, you know, happy, happier together. Mm -hmm. Really, like, yeah. yeah, it's definitely improved our our lifestyle as a whole. And we get to spend every day next to the ocean if we want to, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Finding places to park overnight has not been a challenge. It's been the easiest part that of was, living. Yeah. That was probably one of our biggest worries. Mm -hmm. um, it's we have had no issue with it. Um, we found good little low-key places to park. We're not overstaying our welcome. Mm -hmm. We're moving around from different park night to night. Mm -hmm. um, and it hasn't been a bother. Yeah, surprisingly, that one 
yeah, we have no worries about parking. Mm -hmm. The advice that we could give to people who are thinking about moving into a van or starting van life is do it. Do it. Absolutely just do it. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> start. Yeah, pull the trigger, buy a van and just start. Yeah. Start yeah. with the dream, start researching and then just get right into it. The best way to do it is to jump head first. We would absolutely recommend this lifestyle. Yeah. It, uh, it's, it's been great. Um, you know, we say that one month in, but it's been the best month ever. Yeah, it really has. And honestly, I think anybody can benefit from this lifestyle. I think anybody can do it. I think no matter your age or, or whoever you are, I think you, I, I know you can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a lot easier than what you think it would be mm -hmm. like having less has ultimately given us the freedom having less has given us more yeah <laughs> nice one <laughs> process of fitting two people into a van and downsizing our life took a long time we cut our stuff in half in half again we cut it in half once more and then we cut it in half again and we've constantly throughout the past year have been sorting stuff putting it in a pile putting it to one side of the closet. If I don't wear it in six months, boom, it's getting donated. Mm -hmm. And even after living in the van for three weeks, we had an opportunity to clear everything out. We cut everything in half again. Mm -hmm. It's almost, uh, it, it, you almost get addicted to it, to, yeah. to having, to get getting rid of, of more stuff so you have more space or less things to worry about. Oh. It, uh, once you start getting rid of stuff, it goes quick. Totally. But in saying that, we do have a storage unit. <laughs> yes, we yeah. do. Yeah, we do yeah, have a storage have a locker. Storage, yeah. um, there are some things, obviously, we don't want to part with yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some lots of different stuff that we want to keep for years to come. So yeah. we do have a small storage locker, five yeah. by five. Which we will eventually condense and hopefully move out of Victoria because Victoria is pretty expensive in the storage unit department. So um, the, I guess the next step for us would be to condense the storage unit and move it a little further out. Our, my personal philosophy on life, just have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Don't take everything so seriously. It's really not that serious other than things that might land you in prison it <laughs> you can you can get out of most things and you can find a way to deal with it oh. nothing ties you down yeah. immensely and just have fun with it yeah keep it simple be happy enjoy who you're with and mm -hmm. you know and keep a sense of play yeah yeah, yeah. keep a sense of play yeah. never grow up <laughs> but as of right now this has been the best decision yeah. we have ever made yeah super super happy we we did this and mm -hmm. we took the leap because and we did it together yeah and we stayed together <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> yeah we sure um, did. but no it's really it's really helped us grow as a couple and you know i wouldn't change our experience for for the world and i'm really excited to see what the future holds for us because mm -hmm. yeah i can see us continuing to live in this for like years to come yeah yeah, maybe even upgrade one day, but <laughs> we're even now is talking about our, our next build, which is... Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> we just spent, spent so long and so much money building this one, and now we're in here like, okay, well, in the next van we're going to yeah. do this. So like, no, I, I want to enjoy, enjoy this, this one. Enjoy this one first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We are um, all over social media, so Instagram, Facebook, we've just started a YouTube, and we are under the name Levan.TheDream. Live in the dream. Live in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to be featured on different media, there's a form you can fill out to be on the podcast or to have your van toured. And if you're interested in watching more alternative dwelling tours like this, we upload every single Sunday. So hit subscribe and new van life and chill podcasts every Thursday. Thanks everyone for watching.